Hello? Ooh. My, my computer died there. Alright, hello. This is some quirky gameplay in top lane. Uh, I believe this is high gold, maybe low plat. I don't know. It's one of those. I, I'm going to assume it's gold. We're playing quirky top. Uh, I've been inspired by inverted composer to just play quirky top. And I've been having a lot of fun with it, actually. Um, it kind of depends on your team not like actually just running it down right but that's for that's that's like for everyone right for every champion no matter what right if you're ahead and then your team is like tr like just trolling like obviously you're gonna have some problems um we are running phase rush uh copying inverted composers entire rune set uh changing the build just a little bit um he for whatever reason goes lethality uh i'm not really sure about that like, I, I, I'm not sure I understand, <laughs> to be honest, uh, why he goes lethality. Because Corgi's passive uh, makes it so that 80% of his auto, let's see, can we bring it up? 80% of his auto is magic. So going lethality doesn't really make sense for autoing. And then Q also is magic, W is magic, and E is mixed. And then your R is magic. So I, I'm not really sure why he goes for lethality. I tried it. I played probably three games with it. And I was like, mm, not that great. So uh, what I go instead, instead of uh, starting mana crystal uh, refillable, I go Doran's, Doran's Blade. Because it's sort of safer in a way that like I just have sustain. Um, I do lose out on getting to your very early. But... Uh, the it, I sacrifice that for having a bit more sustain in lane so I can just kind of stay there and keep pushing and then farm, right? Because uh, with refillable, that's only 300 HP. I'll, I'll heal more than that eventually over time uh, as the game goes on. And the build that he goes is, uh, I believe it's Mana Moon into the, the shield lethality item. I'm not sure what's called. Shroud? Um, and then he goes for Death Stance, Triforce, I think that's what he does, which is a very, very solid build, but I just don't understand the lethality. Someone needs to explain that to me, because uh, I, don't, I don't get it, right? Maybe he's getting it for just for the spell shield, then maybe that would make sense. Um, but yeah, we have a vein top, uh, kind of weird. Um, they're not exactly the best player. Um, I guess they were just trying to cheese top lane and assuming that, you know, it'd be like a tank or something, like Scion. But it was me, Corky. He didn't know. But they didn't know. Um, but yeah. Let's check our gold. Oh. We have a thousand gold. Uh, generally, you want to back at like 1500 gold so you can back and get a pickaxe with your tier. Um, but I'm backing now because I have no mana, no pots either, so I back, get a tier, right? Tier boots, and just sort of just go to lane. Now, the, the powerful thing, like the main deal for Corky, uh, at least just Corky in general, is his package. It comes up every four minutes after the first eight minutes, right? We can actually read the, read it. Uh, after eight minutes was a package and then every four minutes um, it'll it'll keep spawning right and it does a lot of damage so um, the scaling is actually really really nice it has 200% AD ratio right so getting mana moon makes sense okay and then it also has 24% AP ratio which is not something you really build on Corky too often um, but like say you have like 500 AP a fourth of that, right? 125 extra damage per second. This is per second. Um, these ratios are really, really high. So it does a lot of damage. And some people don't realize uh, how much damage Corky actually does. Um, I think he actually was the worst mid laner for the longest time. Uh, for whatever reason. I guess he would just get rolled, right? Here, um... Get a little too over, a little overzealous, and get ganked and die. 
right? Unfortunate, it's okay, right? But we still scale. That's, uh, that's not a big problem. So as we're going to lane, make sure to spam some abilities, level up that tier, right? Makes sense. I'm gonna just tap Vayne a little bit. But yeah, we are maxing Q and then maxing E. Um, the the damage is actually really nice. Like here, it does 200. It's already doing 200 damage, and I don't have any AD or anything. What the? What the? Yeah, Zed wants to uh, get this vein. Vein flashes away. Zed loses ult. And now we're just kind of here. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of farming towards mid and late game until you actually get a. Uh, get your items. Using an auto, auto, W, right? Get out really, really fi fast and nice. Uh, here I see Zoe's kind of trying to do something, but doesn't. Uh, I'm not really sure. But, uh, let's speed this up. Right, it's just a bunch of farming, a bunch of autoing, right? Not a whole lot going on. And then we back because we have no mana. And now we have package. And we immediately run towards bot lane. The first package, honestly, I think it's the best way is just to go bot lane. Like you don't need to go anywhere else. Just go bot lane. Run everyone over. Bam, that's one. This is the second guy. And we'll we'll give the kill to Ash. And that was easy. Package came out with two kills. Let's go back top lane. Um, just a lot of farming. Uh, this vein isn't very aggressive or anything. They're just sort of here to uh, exist. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I screwed up my CS. There. <laughs> Make fun of me, please. Uh, Scion's ult is now really loud on that skin. Worldbreaker Scion, which I guess came out somewhat recently. I'm not really sure. But, uh... Look at that, we trade with Vayne really, really fast. Just kind of tapping her with rockets if she gets too close. Right? Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, it does like 70. Okay, but it's still an annoying. And it only costs 20 mana to fire it off. So, that's there. Uh, I missed the rocket. Um, I need to get used to it. Get used to using the rocket. But uh, Corgi clears waves very, very well. Which is something I guess I needed to point out. Here, Vayne just sort of shows up. Not really sure what she's trying to do. But uh, I think this is played pretty well. Aside from missing the rocket, of course. Making sure she loses vision by walking into the bush, getting the auto off. That's, uh, yeah. That's what I did. Hog champ. But she almost got me, too. She, like, she's not even, like, far ahead or anything, but she does so much damage. Just from, purely from her W. And now we're just sort of sitting in base. I think. Yeah, we were just sitting in base waiting for Mana Man and Sork Shoes. But, uh, yeah. Also, you get Sork Shoes because, you know, obviously Corky does magic damage. Majority, right? Kind of kind of weird to itemize against. Because you build magic resist and some people forget about it. 
then they look at the chart and they're like, oh yeah, that's that's quirky. What is this music? <laughs> oh god, what's going on bot lane? Oh yeah, I think bot lane just ends. Scion dies too. One rocket did like 200 something or 300 something to Vayne. Makes her back off. But yeah, all you need to do is farm. Wait for package. Farm some more. <laughs> Wait for package again. It's it's actually like really really chill, cause with phase rush it, it makes it so like just relax. You know you don't need to you don't you don't really need to worry too hard about like you know fighting with someone or whatever else. Here I literally miss everything. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah, make sure to be autoing a lot. Uh, you're just trying to level up your mana moon to a Mura mana. Mana? Mura mana? You just, you just want the AD, okay? The AD scaling is very, very important. By the time it ends, you have like 200 something, I believe. Not really sure. But now we're going for a Triforce. Here I'm just sort of taunting this vein. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know Hecarim was here, so let's see what happens. Uh, I condemn myself into the turret. <laughs> um, not really sure what I was trying to do there, but. There it goes, just one rocket, 300 damage. Key landed, that means we go in. Not sure what Vayne was trying to do, but it clearly just didn't it didn't process in their mind that they were getting poked down and bursted. And now we have package. Alright, you ready for this? You ready? Is a treat, okay? Big three man, and then it. Oof. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. And for whatever reason, Alistar takes it, so I just ult F4. As a joke, okay? Ult F4 as a joke. I wasn't actually going to leave the game, okay? I was joking. Okay? I was like, dude, you stole it. And then I left. Right, that was my quadra, but I was joking. Okay, it was a joke. When do I come back? Yeah, I come back like super fast. Okay, it's, it was like, it was like no more than like thirty seconds. Okay, I was just sitting there. And it was like, let it, you know, let it marinate or whatever, whatever people call it. Right, and here Hecker makes a terrible mistake by walking into in front of Corky, and then we just run everyone over. Um. Corky damage is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I love it. Um, I've, I, I'm having so much fun with Corky. I don't know if, uh, and I have not been having that much fun with Singed. Uh, I might be playing this more. I don't know. May it's possible. Yeah. Um, I kind of just want to give up on my main, like trying to get diamond with, at least with, at least with just Singed. If it's so painful because there's so many boosters out right now and there's so many people that like with like 1300 games so there's I'm not even I'm not exaggerating today I had two people in my game on my main account that have 1300 games in plat or diamond whatever there's like a d4 player with like 900 games 49% when like it's always those people that like if they troll the game away they don't say a single word right they just keep going right they, they just play another game afterwards it matters absolutely nothing to them like their diamond 40 op somehow still d4 i have no idea how they can lose like seven in a row 
right? With like a negative win rate, everything. Like, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Maybe their MMR is so like busted that like it doesn't matter. I, I don't know. I don't know. Someone needs to explain MMR to me because I've played 200 games in plat. And then the other guy in my game has like 1200. And I feel like being in that same game as the, that person doesn't make sense to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm imagining things. You know, maybe, maybe I'm just like crazy. Like someone, like I'm plat two still. Okay, it's been like a month or two. Like I'm still plat two, okay. And I'm getting diamond four, zero LP people in my game. My MMR is not high because I have a negative win rate. So I don't know what's going on. I, I honestly don't. So <laughs> someone someone needs to yell at me, dude. I because I I don't, I don't get it. I just don't understand. Oh wow, I didn't know they were pinging me. Corky has a 700 gold bounty. That's crazy. Yeah, here's another package. Uh, we sort of hold off on it for now because there's no team fight, right? It only lasts one minute. Once you pick it up, right, you only have one minute to use it. So now I, I see that dragon's coming up in like 30 seconds. So uh, I'm going to stay in base until they really, really need me. So pick up package, immediately run over. Right. Now they got vision, they know that I got package, they gotta be scared, right? We chill? Okay, we wait for them to engage, I counter engage with the W, or something like that. And just hope, you know, all, all is well. Hecarim ults over the wall, very interesting, I see three people, I immediately go in. Essentially one tap the Zoe, right, I die, I actually got, what, what happened there? I got knocked up by Malphite, and then it's slept by Zoe, and then, and then, uh, was that it? I think that was it. Well, essentially, I could have actually escaped that by pressing W immediately after using my giant, you know, rumble ult. Uh, but I didn't because I got greedy and I wanted to burst down Zoe. Uh, I actually probably could have survived because I had phase rush, but I got stunned up for, I believe, three seconds. <laughs> so unfortunate but that's okay because we essentially rolled over the team fight and we got dragon right it was a cloud drake meaning when i ult right i get a bunch of movement speed it's very nice there's a little bit of a cooldown on it but aside from that it's quite nice i do prefer water dragon though i think water dragon's my favorite it, it's hard to match It is very hard to match the water dragon. It just feels so good. Just like regenning all the time. Oh my god. Now imagine your tank. So here I go for uh, obvious bait, right? I'm walking into three people. This is awful, right? I miss my cue. Immediately get, get popped, right? Bolted, whatever else. Flash away. Then we just burst everyone. Goodbye. Very, very easy. Ash does a lot of damage. I don't know if you know that. But then the team does. Now they do. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm going for the Death Stance after the Triforce. Uh, Russian Triforce I think is fine. But it doesn't... I don't, know, I don't know about early game scaling on it. Like, if you have Mana Moon, you're just constantly scaling. But if you have... Um, if you don't have it, and you have Triforce, like, it's really, it's kind of limited, right? It's very, very expensive. You don't, also don't get mana, so, I don't know. Here, we essentially kind of, like, kind of have, like, free reign. I'm kidding. No, we don't. But, uh, Ekram really goes for it, right? Then he dies. Or the ash. And we're just here. Like, the, like, 
they have very, very little way to deal with this very fed Corky, who is 11 to 10. So I'm actually absolutely rolling the team. There we go. Right, missing everything because she keeps get, she keeps getting like knocked around. And, uh, oh no. I miss a missile by flicking too hard because I was right clicking there. And then I get rolled by Vayne, which is unfortunate. Uh, Vayne falls for this bait here. By getting perma CC'd. <laughs> I think it's really funny. And then Malphite ults away. Cool. Speed it up. Alright, we're here for the Corky. Right. And here I'm just waiting in base. Not a whole lot to do. I'm going for an IE here. Um, enemy team's still pretty squishy. Kaisa has armor. Malphite has armor. Now that I think about it, IE probably not the best idea. Oh wait, just kidding. I do magic damage and they don't have any magic resist, right? Don't forget. So, I got the package. Right, we gotta use it, okay? It's running out, it's timing out, okay? And uh, everyone's already dead, so what do I do? You see Hecarim getting a little too close, and then Vayne, oh, you're way too, do like, what are you doing? Now I can just kinda go off, do things. I don't know, this is such a, like, a fun game. I love this these kinds of games. Like, this was a hyper stomp, but I felt like I earned it. You know? Like, I played well. I got, like, good ults. Or good whatever. Right? Good of rockets. Good Ws. I don't know. I played this today on stream. Um, so, that was fun. Rip Sion. Man, we ended up being 17-3-11 on Corky. Uh, on OP. Kinda ruled the game. But yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please let me know. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Hit that dislike bar. Dislike button if you want. I don't know. Do Do, do what you want, okay? Didn't think the video was interesting? Tell me. What do you really want in life? What do you really want? Huh? I I want like universal health care, you know? That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good to me. You know? Maybe uh free money? Free money sounds good. I don't think that's possible, but you know, maybe I could get some free money. You know, just drop like a thousand dollars in my lap right now. That'd be cool. What do you guys want? Huh? What do you wish for? I'll give you like th four wishes. Because three is too common. Too little. Four, four you can, you know, set yourself for life, I think. Alright. Peace.